you're looking for ways to get out of the pentatonic box when you're soloing on the blues in A, one of the simplest fixes is to start adding in the major third of whatever chord you're on at the moment. That's what I'm gonna show you how to do in this lesson. If you'd like to learn more about improvising while playing fingerstyle blues and get tabbed for lessons like this, check out my membership, The Fingerstyle Five, at the link below or the link on screen. So let's check out how this works just over the first four bars of a traditional eight bar tune like How Long Blues. I'll play it in the key of A and I'm using my steady bass on the root of each chord. And the first four bars are gonna be two bars of A followed by two bars of D. I'm gonna play them with an F sharp in the bass. Now I'm using just the minor pentatonic scale at first. All right, so the root, flat third, fourth, fifth, flat seven, and root. So we can solo all day over those first two chords just using that sound. And it sounds great because that sound works perfectly fine over both the one and the four. But if we want to kind of help to spell out the sound of each chord change, then we can take, first of all, on the A chord, the flat third, and place some slides into the major third. So instead of just playing the C natural, going to the C sharp. And what that does is, if you look at what we've got, now we're really just playing the root and the third and the fifth of A, so it really has the sound of an A chord. So this is what people mean by playing the changes. It means playing sounds that really outline the chord that you're on. And it's a very simple change from this So if you know some pentatonic licks, you're just swapping in this move anytime you've got the flat third. Now that works over the A chord. But now when you go to the D7 chord, look at the notes that we have on the top three strings. We have the fifth and the flat seven and the ninth of D. And so we want that C natural. We want to be on the, on the first fret there. And so if you're playing major third on the one chord, the exact same lick, if you go back to playing this note, it sounds like you're making that chord change. It's the difference between this sound and this sound. And so you hear this note going down. So it's really slick because all you have to do is change the licks over the first two bars. And the change from chord to chord kind of does the rest of the work for you. Now, one other cool thing you can do when you get to the D chord is you can actually play the major third of D, which would be this note here on the second fret of the high string. That's the major third of D, whether you're playing D major or D7 or even D9, that note is the note you want. So if you're playing licks on A, that use this flat seven on top, then one really slick thing you can do is then when you get to the D chord, you can play the same kinds of licks using the major third of D, adding in this note, which does not belong in the minor pentatonic scale. So if you have licks like this, and it's a little easier 
to see without all this other stuff going on. So just playing. Landing on that. I kind of cheated and I was using this note even when I was on the A chord. But I emphasized the flat seven here and then when I got to the D chord, emphasizing this F sharp, which is the major third of D7. Now one way to practice these is just to set up a groove where you're going between the one chord and the four chord. And that way you can just work on playing licks really simple to hear that change or And once you know this sound, you'll hear it all the time in other tunes, especially like swing and riff tunes from the 30s and 40s where you hear this sort of Maybe not exactly like that, but you get the idea. So that's one really simple and practical way that you can start to open up the sound of the minor pentatonic scale, add some more color into your playing, and tag the sound of the chords as they go by, which is always cool. For more exercises, licks, and in-depth lessons, I encourage you to check out my membership, The Fingerstyle 5, at the link below or the link on screen, where you can get the tab to dozens of traditional and contemporary blues tunes, start learning to improvise on them, and hone your right hand technique so you can play fingerstyle guitar with confidence and conviction. If you've got a question about today's lesson, please leave it down below. I'd love to hear from you. And as always, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.